Good day everybody. Boy, am I excited to show you what I did here. Uh, what you can see is just uh, a foam filler that you can get at the hardware store. And I didn't actually show you how I applied it. It's because, you know, I just bought it and wanted to quickly give it a test. And then when I saw what it did, I thought, oh, I've got to do a video now. So, um, uh, it, it kind of... Um, sits on the board that's the MDF board and um, the bottom bits there they're really elevated and the bits that I've just painted now uh, in blue um, I just kind of rubbed it with uh, just a bit of cardboard and I just kind of pulled it a bit and smoothed it down and because um, this foam foam expands on its own I got these cool little bubbly effects all throughout some bigger some smaller and looks really awesome you will see some close-ups at the end of the video so the blue that I'm using here is just uh, Lares Seabreeze powder pigment mixed in with a little bit of PVA glue and a bit of water and uh, I love uh, using pigments with PVA glue or water you can use Floetrol um, or you can use uh, the pouring medium, um, whatever you have on hand. I find that uh, the glue is fine because it, uh, it, it sets, when it dries it's clear and you get that nice color coming through. So I just painted that area and then I went around with a cloth and rubbed off uh, the parts that were sticking out, rather that foam, um, so that that stays white. And then uh, just painting a little bit of uh, that dark shade underneath the wave, which is it's, it's kind of looking like a wave now. So I did that, and now just using some uh, peacock green uh, Lares powder pigment, same sort of deal with PVA glue and a little bit of water, just to to um, turn it into a bit of a paste, and just applying that here and there. And you can see that's uh, quite a, a gorgeous color. It's actually more green than what it's showing here. Um, it's kind of uh, showing a little bit. It's a bit on a turquoise side on the camera, but it, it's it's more of a a greeny peacock color, which is quite pretty for seascapes. And just uh, painting it here and there, um, the bottom, and a little bit on top of that wave as well, just to you know to to make it not so white and uh, this stuff is great because you can paint on it you can cut it you can snap it whatever but uh, I just like the way it, uh, it was sitting on the board and I left it as it was and uh, just adding a little bit more of that uh, sea breeze and painting it underneath that wave just to give it a bit of a shadow And now just going around with a wet um, paper towel and just dabbing and spreading that paint a little bit. Uh, I've got it quite wet and squeezing that water onto bits of the of the foam and letting it letting it uh, run down. And just doing the same thing with the wet paper towel and then a dry paper towel, just rubbing off that paint off the top of uh, that foam there. And the bottom uh, parts where the foam is sticking out, that's I'm going to uh, create some rocks um, looking like things there. So um, I will be painting them uh, in a dark colour. So just uh, going back and forth and just rubbing paint off and adding more moisture to them and, and then squirting a little bit of alcohol uh, every now and there just to, to get that uh, bit of movement and, and some it just gives it a little bit of a effect. Uh, uh, okay, so just continuing with this now. This has dried up nicely and oh my god, it looks really beautiful. Look at that. 
That's amazing. Oh, and I just lifted the thing straight up off the... Okay. Now, let's see. Is that still wet? That is still wet. This is silicon. I just put it underneath this board. The whole idea was to stick it on there to stop it from warping. But, uh, okay, so that's working. It's kind of holding it. We'll see what happens. I just don't want it to warp when I put the, you know, when I um, put the resin on there. So that sort of doesn't want to sit on there, on this tile. And I don't have any more silicon. I use silicon because silicon is easy to, easy to take off afterwards. Um, I'm just going to have to deal with it, I suppose, after, because I want to get on with it. So I've got another little piece of that foam which I, I thought it would look really cool here. Might just uh, pop it on there, just like I can even paint it into like a little rock, something like that. Got some instant nails, or liquid, liquid nails, and use my pliers to undo that. So I'm just gonna add some on here. It's pretty thick stuff, but that's okay. It's, gonna dry underneath here and um, you won't see it the color of it I mean right so in it goes maybe I'll spin it around the other way like that right so that's gonna stick on there and I might paint that into like a rock kind of thingy and uh, I might just uh, go and mix some resin now yeah, this is getting quite exciting. So while I'm waiting, um, I've kind of pressed this down a bit, so it's it's um, it's okay now. So what I'm doing is I'm going to make this into uh, like a rock. So just applying a little bit of black ink, actually. It's more of a dye, and I managed to. Oh gosh, because I'm using my fingers instead of a brush, but see my fingers are nice and, and flat and it's giving me a, a nicer uneven surface and obviously, you know, they're not going to end up black, being black because I'll have, I'll, you know, I'll tone them down a little bit, but I'm just going to go around now with the tip of my finger. And just kind of uh, create like an illusion of um, a, a rock in the water. And some of these bigger ones I can kind of just dab right over the top of it. And it would help if these gloves were a really nice tight fit because then I wouldn't have the, the loose bit making a mess on the side I'm trying to find excuses for making a mess <laughs> so that can be another little rock there it's quite rocky wavy and this is it's gone it's gotten really hard now and this stuff you know you can cut it it's fairly inexpensive to, to buy you know I suggest that you figure out a way how to preserve the can because you know that blocks up there's no way you can get any more out of it so I think it was meant to be used once and you use up the whole can but there are ways and uh, I figured out a way might uh, show you that at the end of the video or you can do something that I've also done and I'll show you that in a second you can make these little foams that's just something that I got out of when I was doing that or before I did that rather um, I just uh, I suppose sprayed some and then I, I grabbed a 
plastic sheet and covered it and kind of flatten it down and you get all these bubbly bits all on their own and uh, I can use that you can cut it you can rip it but it's pretty tough yet you know it's pretty you know it's pretty tough but soft enough that you can cut it and shape it and stuff so anyway that's another thing that you can do right so I've got all that maybe just a little bit more of the black just kind of rubbing it on there and trying to catch those bits that are sticking out of the water which is going to be a water and the other bits are all right they can stay white now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean my, my glove, clean my fingers and maybe just actually might even just use my wet towel here and just do that because that kind of tones down that black a little bit so it's not so black now and you know you can use other colors for, for a rock grays or browns bronze you want it nice and shiny yeah, I'm just uh, using a bit of black and just toning it down now. So that to me looks pretty good. One of the one side is going to have this sort of the sun more on it, maybe that side there. So I can kind of rub that off a little bit, and then maybe just get a little bit more, fix it up, bits that I took off too much from going to add some more okay some of it's going to be covered with resin it's going to be interesting to see how resin reacts to this or rather how this reacts to resin I'm actually going to use a paintbrush to get into Get a small one just to get inside here so see that I can't get my finger in there and I need that to be fairly dark on the inside there because the, the light is not kind of reaching in there so I'm making sure that I get it right you know what I mean and just rubbing some off alrighty Let's get some resin mixed. Okay, resin is mixed. So I'm only going to be using a little bit of white. Might use some of this um, peacock mica powder by Lares. Um, uh, I've already got some in the bottom there. And let me just grab a stirring stick. Yeah, it's got some PVA glue in there. I don't think it's going to affect it, but let's not waste it. And I just want to pour some of this resin in there and give it a, give it a little bit of a swirl and see what happens <coughs> excuse me okay so that's mixing so far so good I could actually even add a little bit more of that uh, peacock oops I have to knock things down I'm so happy that I've tied it up and uh, organized my studio and I built this bottom shelf right underneath the table which uh, you can have a look at the process of that if you like it should be in the video below this one um, just created a lot more space and all I have to do now is get some nice looking boxes put all the stuff in boxes and those plastic drawers and things like that all handy stuff okay so here we go now I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit I think it's still poking up a little bit but anyway let's go with the clear and I'm gonna drizzle it up here I don't want to do too much to the top I love the colors already but I do want to cover it with a bit of clear 
we'll cover the whole thing with the clear so I think it's going to really make those waves pop and that is pulling to this way which I'm trying to move it over here now don't want too much wastage I'm just going in all of these little grooves filling them in nicely and the best way to do that is with your fingers and that stick just doesn't do it for me Oh yeah, that's great. Am I dripping down there? No. I don't want a real thick layer of this. Not at this stage anyway. I just want a little bit of it just to cover that. And immediately that looks really nice really nice depth making sure you're lined up <coughs> excuse me so that's looking great now I might just go in with this just to fill in some of these gaps oh look at that look how pretty that is let's just make it continue down here maybe over here a little bit and there's like a hole in there fill in that hole wherever there's kind of gaps and where there's too much of that blue I just want to get some of this beautiful peacock in there maybe up here a little bit just to give it some extra so it's the same pigment that I've used but I've used it as an acrylic and now I'm using it in resin very versatile these pigments okay that's pretty cool now I'm gonna go underneath here just being careful not to drip on that uh, foam too much Because the foam has actually kept working, it's it's really lifted and it's created like a little natural little um, cave underneath there, which is I think quite cute. Okay, bit down here. I can always add some more afterwards. Now let's get this clear. Over my phone and I hope I have enough resin. So I'll be focusing concentrating on on the foam bit and not so much on this bottom bit for now. Let me just move this around. It's going to be very interesting to see how it reacts to the torch. When I get the torch involved, and I only want a tiny little bit of white. That, that's got, I've got too much white there. I've mixed way too much white. But I just want a little bit because I want some for the continuation of the, the foam. Make it nice and wispy. Down here. So that's where that wave kind of crashes. And I'm going to allow this to fall as well down there a little bit and that's just to cover them it's all right I can always mix some more resin so that's looking great let's go with this white now this is going to be an interesting bit
because it's so uneven the white is kind of falling all over the place I do want to cover that bit with white actually that blue shouldn't be there a bit more here a little bit up here let it fall Right. Now, fingers crossed. <laughs> oh dear, I've got some leakage over here. That is not good, but it's really nice, nice colour. Actually, I might use that um, spoon. Scoop it up into a spoon. that gorgeous colour. A bit of drizzle over there. I might just put my spoon under here just to catch that gorgeous colour in another one. Okay. Uh, let's go. I might Turn it around the other way. Like this. And then blow that way. Just want to add a little bit more of this clear, whatever I have left here, just to help the movement. Definitely going to need it. This is exciting. Okay, that's all the clear that I have left. We'll use my finger to blend these in. Okay. Not too much heat. Didn't like too much heat. That's good to know. It's actually really good to know. So that is actually looking pretty good. So you can apply heat, just not too much of it. So you just got to watch it. where it kind of reacted. Hmm, okay, interesting. Good to know these things. Right, so now that I've done that, actually don't mind leaving it there. Might just give this a little swipe. I just have to turn it around because I've got to be able to see what I'm doing in front of me. There we go. Now I can see where I can kind of swipe a little bit. It's good because this white is going around this. Oh, nice cells. That's what I wanted. I wanted some nice wispiness here. Wanted to add a little bit of this in there. A bit more down here, and I will need to mix up some more as. This was a really good uh, experiment. Quite pleased with this. 
around with my finger a little bit just to dab it in there and spread it around a little bit. But they're the small, the really small, fine bits of texture there look really, really cool. And I'm just pulling this over now a little bit. That is that, my friends. I might try a little something here. Pull it down there. Make that one go this way. Those things there, okay. Add some more white over here. avoid those areas with the foam. That's not bad actually. Really not bad. Put some more of that on there. I think I'm going to leave it for now. If I had a little bit more white, that would be really great. But I don't. Well, that's it. Right. Show you how I clean my my cups. So uh, I've got my dirty alcohol cloth already. This is just a like a multi-purpose wipe. And that picked up everything that I had left in there. Then you can squirt a little bit of isopropyl alcohol in there. I can even squirt some on my piece. Just down here a little bit, just to give me that. But I will squirt some in here, like that. Grab another wipe. Straight in there and just give it a really good wipe. Flip it over, go right in, in the corners, and that's it. That is done and ready for next time. Okay, you can clean it a bit better than that, but that's just uh, me, real quickie, just to show you. And that's it. I'm gonna leave it. I leave it and let it set, and I will show you when it sets whether any of this has changed and whether I've got any extra holes in there. Hmm. Okay. So I've decided that my my wave there is just too kind of it's got a sharp edge. I don't like it. So I've decided to fill in some of the areas and just build them in build them up a little bit. Just with this uh, foam. That I already have here to give it a bit of a lift and that will if I can tilt it a little bit be great just like that yeah because it just was too much yeah i've just got to make it a gradual 
kind of thing. So I'm just going to add bits and pieces here and there. That's going to glue onto the resin. Mainly in this area here. This here is fine. And I can even turn these into rocks. And then the water coming. I can paint that. But uh, this looks a bit too... You know, what's the word I'm looking for? Not, not a gradual, smooth transition from a still kind of water to a wave. It just goes like that, and then, you know, we don't want that, do we? There we go. No, that's pretty good. That's giving me a really nice kind of gradual lift and I do have a little bit of resin here which I may use to glue this part of this is a real foamy bit there you know might just pop it on there but I'll dip it in this bit of just to go for that I think they would that will be a rock and then waves kind of jumping over my fingers are sticky and everything's sticking to me um, just a bit of fixing oh there's some over here look at that nice and blue too it's excellent bit there and a little bit here, a little bit down here, tell you what I love that, very interesting, I also love this part here and I will bring you closer so that you can see exactly what I mean and that's just by spraying that foam on and then scraping it off and then each one of those bubble up kind of and uh, create all this coolness okay that's it for now gloves off alrighty I'll bring you down and start down here with these little rocks and look cool and that angel white going in mingling in between the rocks Kind of looks a bit like an aerial view. So that's that other rock with that water, kind of that foam sliding down all the cracks. And here's the big mama, or big papa. And look at that bubbly, foamy gorgeousness right there. And this is what I told you I was excited about. Those little bits. They're real small ones that you can see. I'll zoom in now. See that? And then they're slightly big ones. There's some more here. And that green, the peacock green is just amazing. That's what I'm excited about. Possibilities of creating texture. Not this big jumbo stuff, which is also cool. But uh, the small stuff. Alrighty, so I'll probably, oops, zoom out. I will probably do some more to this piece but for now this is it and hopefully um, you'll get inspired to do something with it look at that that's what I told you about that little cave just recently I went with Laura um, to the caves beach and yeah there was a big cave that you could go in so that's it hope you enjoyed it please let me know what you think and um, I shall see you again soon. Bye for now.